What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, the host with the most. I'm Chris the Dom One, and I am Brah! with another video. Can you do your boy a favor? Can you do your boy a solid? Could you? Would you? Hit the subscription tab as well as mosey on down to the notification bell. Click all so you'll know when my next video or live stream goes down. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Only fans want to go, wants to go mainstream. All right. And they're going to totally ditch, abandon their adult content portion to yo to OnlyFans. Now, to run a quick bio on OnlyFans, ideal, the premise of OnlyFans is to be either a YouTube replacement or an addition to YouTube where content providers can go to and gravitate to. YouTube and still is the king of where all the influencers, the entertainers gravitate to, to uh, make their content and promote their content on YouTube. OnlyFans was trying to get a piece of the market or overtake the market to have competition for YouTube. Things did not go as well as planned for OnlyFans. And um, after that, OnlyFans had to go in a complete different direction. So a lot of adult uh, actors and actresses uh amateur uh adult content providers started gravitating it's really only fans only fans had to get into that they, they had to get into where they had to fit in and a lot of these uh, adult content providers started flocking to OnlyFans. now only fans started blowing up in a major way is when the pandemic hit when the pandemic hit a lot of things that were perceived culture traditional like going to the clubs going to the strip clubs uh the the nightlife scene uh started drying up and not only that a lot of businesses and corporations had to figure out how to do business because of the pandemic the pandemic even affected the entertainment world uh, a lot of studios had to shut down a lot of films had to been had to either been delayed or scrapped uh, a lot of even even affected the primetime showing the, the primetime show uh, when the pandemic happened, they had to go somewhere and everyone started noticing you can go on OnlyFans and make a boat ton of money. Uh, Bella Thorne, which at one point of time was uh, was the only OnlyFans content provider that made uh, X amount of dollars, made a million dollars over a certain amount of time. Uh, now that record has been broken by the Catch Me Out girl. Now she takes the overall uh, record. Now you have a huge influx of people gravitating to OnlyFans. Now uh, you also get the people that you know don't have a talented bone in their body. The only thing uh, that's so talented about them is their body, is their body, is their sexuality. Okay. Uh, and uh, they started flocking to uh, OnlyFans. You even had teachers, soccer moms, police officers, uh, ambulance drivers, professors, uh, people that were in tech, uh, computer programmers, uh, streamers. Everybody started going to OnlyFans, and that made OnlyFans a household name. A lot of nine to five people started gravitating to OnlyFans to make a quick buck. Now, a lot of people say the reason why they gravitate, they, they, you hear the stat, you hear the sob stories, you hear the violin playing in the background. I had to go to OnlyFans because uh, my job laid me off. I had to go to OnlyFans because uh, uh, we can't do business no more with the pandemic. I had to go to OnlyFans because of this. I had to go to OnlyFans because of that. The article states that OnlyFans is going to mainstream, okay? And the the uh, makers of OnlyFans, they they got a that is OnlyFans is extremely valuable. Okay, I think it's up to a billion dollars. They made a they made tons of revenue. And the founders of OnlyFans thought it was a perfect time and a perfect opportunity to go back to 
to go back to their roots, go back to tradition, and they want OnlyFans a place where content providers post their content on their platform, okay? And uh, now OnlyFans is more uh, is more intriguing if they go this route uh, for corporate America to come in and place their ads, uh, you know, that ads that you normally see on YouTube, as you normally see on Facebook, now those corporations are going to gravitate to OnlyFans. And the very same people who made OnlyFans all that money, who made OnlyFans extremely valuable, who made, who pushed OnlyFans to the stratosphere, right? So now OnlyFans is, um, now OnlyFans is, is, is being more mainstream being more corporate, okay? Trying to uh, incorporate ad play to OnlyFans. And in order for you to do that, you have to have the user base and you also have to have the content that's gonna be on there on a consistent level. Now, OnlyFans is being very intriguing for a lot of influencers, a lot of reality stars, just uh, athlete stars in general are now flocking to OnlyFans since OnlyFans is going to this new wave. You got Floyd Money Mayweather on OnlyFans. You got Bella Thorne on OnlyFans. You got Cardi B on OnlyFans. Uh, you, you got tons of celebrities now going to OnlyFans and they're not posting adult content. They're they're literally using OnlyFans as, as, as the same way as their YouTube channels. I feel like OnlyFans is gonna be very beneficial for content providers, okay? Because now com content providers can pick and choose which, which audience is going to see what. And the audience, if they want to check out these, uh, if they want to check out these channels, not only do they have to subscribe to these channels, but they have to pay a fee to subscribe to these channels. Content providers that are on your OnlyFans can pick and choose what's pay-per-view and what's not pay-per-view, okay? Literally, OnlyFans put all the power into content providers and they can pick and choose how they want to display their content on their platform, okay? You, you have to be a member to watch this certain content. You have to be a subscriber to watch that content. You have to pay to watch this particular content. And not only is it it's gonna be videos, it's also pictures. And I'm pretty sure later on down the road, they're gonna add a podcast format to OnlyFans. So even listeners can listen to everything under one roof, pretty much. If you are a content provider, you're, you're traveling in different avenues. You got videos on uh, Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. You got uh, podcasts on the on iTunes and Spotify. Okay, you got uh, you know quick short videos on TikTok or Snapchat or even Instagram and even YouTube. Got YouTube Shorts. Okay, so instead of you know uploading in a thousand different places. You can upload everything under one umbrella, okay? So that's even even more beneficial for a lot of content providers to go, oh, wait a minute, let me, let me think. Should I continue to do what I'm normally accustomed to do, which is live stream on Twitch, post videos on YouTube, uh, do my podcast on iTunes, or should I just put everything under one roof under OnlyFans and not only you have to subscribe to my content, you have to follow me and you have to pay a service fee to even watch my content. And I can do pay-per-views where only select people who bought this will be able to see this, okay? So now they put in all the power and all the eggs in one basket to a lot of content providers. And that's gonna be very attractive to a lot of content providers out there, okay? Um, is, 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 it's also gonna be very attractive and very plausible for a lot of, of, of mainstream to post their ads on there. So the content providers are gonna get the best of both worlds. They're gonna get money from the ads. They're also gonna get money from their own channels, okay? Through donations, pay-per-view, whatever, okay? So you got that going on. That's gonna be very uh, enticing for content providers. It's also gonna be very enticing for uh, uh, corporations to have their ad plays 
and uh, it, it's going to be very beneficial for people that uh, are going to on, only fans for their entertainment. Okay, now I told you the good, here's the bad, all right? I feel like a lot of that user base that was accustomed to going to OnlyFans only went for OnlyFans for one thing and one thing only, to see titties everywhere and ass flopping everywhere, okay? Uh, those individuals, you're gonna get a mixed bag. You're gonna get some pe people that's going to leave OnlyFans and just go to those other services that show adult content. Or you're going to have people that's going to evolve with the changes and continue supporting OnlyFans and the new content providers that's going to be coming to OnlyFans. So uh, I feel like that user base is going to be a little bit smaller. How much smaller? No one really knows. Uh, I, I do know that it's still going to be popular for content providers. It's going to be extremely pop popular for corporate America, particularly when they mainstream this and they're allowed to be able to put ad play on it. But it, but it, it's also for it's also going to be very popular for people who just go to OnlyFans for their entertainment. They're going to go back to what what they wanted to in the beginning, which is people just posting their content on OnlyFans being either a substitution or an addition to YouTube, being competition for YouTube. I feel like on, on the other side of things, a lot of people that are mainstream on YouTube that have a huge following, if they can get their follow, followers to gravitate to OnlyFans, then I feel like a lot of those uh, big time YouTubers are just gonna stringly go to OnlyFans and OnlyFans only. Yeah, they're gonna be posting a lot of content on uh, YouTube, but the, the majority of their content is gonna be on OnlyFans, okay? So uh, a lot of people are, are you know, and, and I feel like lastly, a lot of people that are into the adult, the, uh, adult content that either view it or create it, they're gonna be really upset and really mad because they had plenty, they had opportunity on top of opportunity, on top of opportunity, okay? to make their brand better, okay? I know a lot of people just took the money and ran. They bought flip flops, weaves, bikinis, uh, tan fluid, beer, alcohol, blunts, whatever the case may be, whatever made you happy, but they never invested into their own brand. They're gonna find themselves in a weird place because uh, they're gonna go to these other platforms and these other platforms and these other services, these other websites, they're not gonna give them the most bang for their buck as far as their revenue. The majority of their re revenue is gonna be going to these other sites and less so to them, okay? So they're gonna take a hit that way and they're also gonna take a hit of a lot of these people are simply not going to follow them, okay? Uh, let, let's just be fair, let's be honest. Subscribers, followers, uh, friends, family, and followers, however you want to label them, however you want to describe them, they're only loyal to you unless you make content religiously on whatever platform they like to gravitate to. Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, whatever, okay? When you stop making the content there, guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna gravitate to someone else that makes similar content than what you made, okay? And you're gonna be a forgotten memory to them, okay? You're gonna be a tear in their eye. They're gonna forget you, okay? They just simply move on. But your real day, but your real day one fans, your real followers are going to follow you, okay? Because obviously they came to see you, all right? So that's the big fiasco um, about this OnlyFans saga. I had to put my two cents in it. Uh, guys, tell me what you think. Rate, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, the host with the most. I'm Chris the Dumb One. I'm up out of here. Deuces, dog. Deuces, man. <laughs>